Let's install Hyper-V on Windows 10. What we need to do is get into the control panel. So we'll just do a search, type control, open up the control panel. And from here, we'll open up programs and features. And we'll go to turn Windows features on or off. And a new list appears. Let's go ahead and scroll to where it says Hyper-V. Now we've got a couple of different options here. We've got the Hyper-V management tools, the GUI management tools, and PowerShell. And then we also have the hypervisor and services. So I would say you definitely need to do all of these, except you don't have to do the PowerShell. But if you think you might have some problems that uh, you, or you want to do some advanced things, then PowerShell is really your only way to go because it gives you a lot more options. Let's go ahead and click OK. And we'll let that install. After that, you have to reboot, and then you can start using Hyper-V. Windows is back up, and let's go ahead and click on the Start menu, and you'll see Hyper-V Manager under your Recently Added Programs, or just type it under the Search. All right, so there is our Hyper-V Manager, and my computer name is The Wallet because that's the way the kids treat me. All right, so um, if for some reason when you try to uh, create a new virtual machine, it tells you you can't do it, it may be because virtualization has never been enabled in your BIOS or UEFI. So you may have to restart and press the delete key or F10 or whatever key it is. It gets you in there and turn that on. Also, after installing the uh, Hyper-V role, your computer will reboot twice, typically, not just once. So don't be worried if that happens. So now we can go ahead and right click and choose to create a new virtual machine. And we can go through the wizard, which we're going to do in an upcoming video. So I first have to get my ISO file and then we'll get that going. So that is how you install Hyper-V in Microsoft Windows 10.